guys how are you doing i hope you're doing well welcome to our youtube channel in this tutorial we are going to learn how we can create a crude application in Django and a Vue.js okay so this as you can see the interface here this is what you should expect at the end of this course we'll be performing crude application which is lead delete and edit right so it is going to be a long tutorial and i approximate it to take uh i think it's one hour and a half so here you can see i can click add article right and i can fill in article header and article content right when i click save changes you will see the article new article will be submitted okay as you can see after clicking save the new article is successful added right so i can click edit to edit an article okay i can put i can modify the article heading and once i click save you can see the changes are reflected you can see from high to horror so this is what you should expect but i can also delete an article right as i've told you that this is called application i can delete article that's it and as you can see from the browser all operations are being done without the refreshing of a browser so this is how is awesome when coding uh when coding in uh javascript front end web framework that's it so this is just a demo right this is just the introduction of tutorial and the demo and in the next session we are going to cover how to create a django project okay after creating a project or create an application so here create a django application create the django project by command the django admin start project the django view so that's the name of our project so the project is successful created so change the directory to the project and create an app okay here i'm going to create an app called the core that is our application so we are done so we have an app and we have project so click and open on open folder to open the project folder we have created right so this is visual studio code which you need to install in your computer so as you can go parallel with our online instructor so we are going to settings.py to make some configuration like configuring the browser adding the installed application uh, configuring the static files and a uh, uh, template folder html template folder right so these are the just settings you can see these are the settings i just pe paste them okay so we need to register uh we need we need to register core and the rest framework okay make sure you install rest the django rest framework if it is not installed okay make sure you install it in your computer so we are going to put a database setting okay okay put database setting okay and we are going to put some settings for static files 
made your route which is a path for uh, uploaded files in the Django so I hope you're done with settings.py okay so this is rest framework folder so I just paste it in my Django project folder so if you don't have this rest API framework folder just you can you you, you can you can quote you, you you can clone it from github or you can visit the 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 link below the video so let's open up model.py so as we can create the model article which will be uh, like a table for storing information okay so this is a model I'm going to create So our model has almost, uh, I think only two columns are enough, right? So we may need the the column for storing article ID, heading and the body. I think it just three columns for our table called the article are enough, right? So don't complicate it. Model is similar to table, right? So it's just a, a, an issue of naming, okay? So if you could be doing uh, PHP and the MySQL web development, you will be called a table. So we are doing uh, the Django, or if we could be doing Laravel, we call them table. So run a migration to make sure the changes are saved, okay? So the command is python manage uh, .py make migrations then a python manage.py migrate so learn those command to make sure the changes are reflected to the database okay Okay, so after running the migration to the database, we can start the Django server and see how it looks like when we open the when we we put the path of web application on the browser. So uh, the IP address is, is 127.0.0.1, and uh, the Django is by default running in port 8000, but you can change it. Uh, you can choose the party for your Django server to run. So here I'm going to create. I'm going to create a file called serializer.py. Okay. So we want to serialize a model and a call set so as they can be easily rendered in JSON format and they can be easily consumed. Okay by our API. So serializer is just it help us to convert uh, it help us to convert the Django um, call set and the model instance into Python data types which can be easily rendered in JSON format and which are compatible to our API. Right? So here we are going to create a serializer from REST API, from make import serializer, and from dot models import article. We need it to import model because we want to serialize the model, right? So that's it, and this is a, a serializer. So cross article serializer put bracket.
Okay, cross meta. Meta is used to define some additional, uh, you can say some additional requirement or some additional, uh, um, like we can say some additional parameters. Like you can you can write the name of the model. You can sp specify how many fields you want your serializer to serialize them. So here for our case, you want serializer to serialize all Quorum. So here I'm going to create another um, file which is called viewset.py. Okay. So viewset is like is 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 just the is just similar to view. Okay. But it allow the creating and updating of a model instance. So from REST API framework import view sets and from models from dot models import article okay and we need it to import a serializer so from dot serializer import article serializer we have created it right then after we create our view set which is cross article view set okay then I put bracket view sets dot model view set. As you remember, we are using view sets because we have imported it from REST API framework. And I told you that make sure you install REST API framework in your computer and make sure you have folder uh, named REST underscore framework which have all content like serializer.py forms and whatever but you make sure after installation after installation of rest a rest api framework you also have the rest framework folder okay so that's it we have already created the view sets okay so the next thing we need to do here is okay the next thing we need to do here i'm thinking um what else to do? Let me create a file named routers. Okay. So this will contain all routers for our API based on our model article. So all routers or all your L path of API to model article will be defined by right by routers dot py. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so it's router dot register. Okay, article comma article view set, right? So that is okay. So let's open up your else.py and uh, include the routers, all all routers, or all the path of API to model article in many URLs file. Thank you. 
So path bracket single quote API forward slash comma include router dot URLs. Okay. Path. Oh, but I, I think this will do it in the next time. Yeah, okay. Let's do what is important right now. The rest will be done in uh, the coming session. Okay, I want to... Okay, let me delete this. We'll do it later, later on. So open up browser and there specify API. Okay. With the help of routers, you can see this is API and API. Registering or posting new article. So let's let us open up admin.py and register model in admin dashboard. Okay. So we register model in admins dot in admin.py so as we can be able to view it in admin dashboard and be able to do some uh, some operation like creating of an art course. Uh, deleting an art course and exporting art course in CSV file, Excel file, and so on. Okay. Super user project user will be able to log in and view the okay the model. So let's create a super user for our application. So the command for creating super user is python manage.py create super user. Specify the name. The name of super user is Moteki. Specify the email. I can tell you my password. Once you will have this source code and after running migration to the database, you will use the same command Python manager.py create a super user to create your own super user. Okay, so this is my super user. You will create yours, right? API. If I click here, you can see I'm able to post the or to create a new art course by filling in art call header. Or at core title and at core body. Okay. You can see the at core is submitted. So let's go on admin dashboard to see if we are able to view model at core on admin or on super user dashboard. Admin of the Django project is a super user. So when I say super user dashboard, when I say admin dashboard, never confuse them. Okay? They are the same. Right? So the name of super user is Motec. And the password is bra 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 bra. Then once I hit the login button, I'll be redirected to the home page of Okay. So here I'm trying to create an article. Right. So hello the jungle. Okay. 
then click save you can see i'm able to add a new article so that's it Okay, so this is our API. Okay. Mm, let's create a folder. Okay. Let's create a template folder for storing HTML template. And let's create home.html. No, 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 no. I remember I have already, I have already, a, I have already created a template which is index.html and it is present on my desktop. So let me just copy it and paste it. Okay, so I paste it here. I open it by using Visual Studio Code, which is our coding editor, a very popular and lightweight coding editor. Okay. So here I'm going to create a view home which will render index.html template on browser. Okay. So okay, the next thing I can do is go in URLs and uh, add the path of view in urls.py but this is also called the view or url mapping in the django okay so after creating a view a view if a view is given a url path for it to run or for it to execute okay So this is how it looks like on the browser, okay? You can see what I think I wish we could create hello world. Uh wish we could create hello world program in a view js before we start with um, coding view js for the project so let's name this div as app okay as view js will return all the data on element with specified id so new view okay so el stand is for element and you can see i have given the name of element as up okay because they are they are in they are inside of html code there is a div with the name up so everything will be returned in 
div with a specific ID. You can see the ID of our div is up. So when I put double braces, then it specify message. That is how we can assess the information present in Vue.js, which is present in uh, like dictionary data type okay but if i just try to <laughs> to view it without doing something extra i won't be able to view the variable of the value the the variable for view js dictionary unless otherwise i use the verbatim because there is conflicting uh, there is conflicting of variable between a Vue.js and a Django because they both use double braces to assess the variable on the browser. So you can use the verbatim or you can use the delimiter. Okay. So if I change anything here, you will see the changes will be directly reflected on the browser. Okay. Okay, as you can see, hello Ed. As I've told you that you can use a verbal team or you can use a delimiter to resolve or to avoid the conflict between the Django and the Vue.js. So here, okay, so div id, I put the id as a starting okay div cross okay div cross row Okay. Okay, let's create a table which will be for retrieving all information of art calls in Okay, so table head, table row Okay. I hope you know how to create a table. Not only a table, a beautiful bootstrap table with hover. Okay. So let's scale on right. So let's specify the table body. Okay, so let's create a row.
Okay. So button we need two button. The first button is for editing article, and the second button is for deleting article. Right? So button button info. The name of the button is edit. We can copy it and and edit. So from button edit we put button delete. And from info, you put danger, which is ready. Okay. So this is how our table looks like. Okay. So let's add a button. This is button for adding new articles. Okay. So button, button, primal. Okay, and the name of button is add article. As I've told you that this is, this will be the button which will be enabling user to click it, open up the pop-up model and add article. So that is how our interface looks like. Okay, so let's, I would like you to delete everything in side of script and let's start creating our view js so view dot http dot headers dot common x c s l f okay forgetting c s l f so XCSLIF token is equal to okay is equal to double quotes double braces CSLIF underscore token Okay, let's start. Let's create the loot of Vue.js. So, new view. Okay. EL stands for element, and it should be the ID of HTML template, like a div or section. Okay. So, you can see this is starting. And here, inside of my HTML code, there is a div with name ID starting. Okay. So delimiter. Delimiters, as I told you that delimiter is one of the way which will help us to solve the variable conflicting between a Vue.js and a Django. As I told you that they both use double braces to access variables on HTML pages. Okay, so data, this is uh, Vue.js dictionary. 
you can see articles which is just like empty array okay oh message loading true current article new article article heading is equal to null so this is just another view js dictionary which have article heading and article body okay search item okay so put comma methods in Vue.js can be a group a single or more than one different functions okay which perform some operation on data okay so let api underscore url is equal to API which is this is your L uh, your L for our Django okay So if bracket this dot search underscore term not equal to null. I'm not so sure if we'll implement search, but if we don't implement it in this tutorial, I'll find out the independent session to cover this, to cover the search. Okay. As I've told you that if we will not cover the search functionality, uh, of course you will find out uh, an independent session to cover it. right okay so this is crawl the application single page crawl the application in Django Vue.js REST framework Django REST framework and SQLite 3 okay that the database is not an issue you can change the database by making configuration in settings.py of your django main project folder okay so get article is uh, 
is a function for fetching information of all articles. So this dot loading is equal to true. This dot dollar sign HTTP dot get API URL. And as you can see here, we are using get method to fetch information. So dot then this is just a chaining in a JavaScript bracket response. So this dot articles is equal to response dot data. So response dot data is information of all article and they are going to be stored in Vue.js array which is called the articles and we defined it okay we defined it as empty array so this dot loading is equal to false and here we are trying to catch the error and if there is an error console.log bracket error the error will display on the browser okay mm, console.log executing executing or executed I want to say executing nice executed nice but I think you verbs and the tenses are problem of course not linguistic okay but full stack developer so let me let me see as I was told you that all information are returned in Vue.js variable which is a list called the articles so when we do when So let me refresh the browser. I see nothing here. What's popping? Okay. So I think I needed to do something and I'm going to use a for, for loop in Vue.js. So when I say at call dot at call ID, that is means I'm fetching or I'm retrieving the information 
I'm retrieving all at Kwaili. Let me try out to put you rubber timmy. Okay. After that, what I also to do? Starting ID is okay, I think. The debugging should be line by line and a careful, careful and a nicely. Refresh the browser. Okay, so here I think it is delimited, it should not be E, instead it should be I, so let me refresh the browser, 
Control S to save the changes, then refresh the browser. Nothing here, nothing to show up. I think there is something wrong. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's debug. Uh, mm, articles loading current article. Mm, what's wrong? What's wrong, guys? What's wrong? I think let's does mount our data. We forgot because by using mount it will make our data accessible on the HTML page or on our browser. So function this dot get at calls. Control S to save the changes made by in our file and oh wow. It's looking nice. Now we can read the content from model article by using Vue.js. And as I told you that one of astonishing thing is how short and clear is for loop in JS. Pretty short. So let's create another Vue.js function for adding an article, adding new article, okay? So this dot loading is equal to true. Then comma this dot okay http dot post you can see in a previous operation or in a previous uh, method or function which was get at calls, the method was get. But here we are using post as we are sending information of at calls to the database. Okay. So guys, the method is post. Okay, so dot then bracket double bracket response. Okay, then after this dot loading is equal to true. This dot get article. Okay. This dot get article. This dot get article. Then catch the error by dot catch error. So after creating this Vue.js function for adding new article. We are going to create the pop-up model which will be special for accepting user input. Okay. So that is okay. Let's go. So this is a model, normal HTML model for uh, 
for adding the information of new article. Okay, all right. The ID is ID of model is ID at Komodo. Okay. I hope you have a little bit concept on how to create the pop-up model in Bootstrap. So this is just a normal pop-up model in Bootstrap. So I don't have worry about that. Okay. That's why I don't have nothing more to explain for you guys. I won't talk much when you're creating the pop-up model. Okay. And if you are new to pop-up model, get to worry out because they use a very simple concept. Okay. So div Okay Cross The cross is model Okay. Lol is document. Okay. Okay. The cross is model header. So the cross is title. They are using heading five. Okay, ID is example model long title and the name of this heading 5 is add article. Okay. And we need a button. So button, the type is button, the cross is close. Data hyphen dismiss is equal to model. Okay. So span area hyphen hidden Okay So form 
we on submit dot prevent add article so add article is a Vue.js function which will help us to add no article okay yes let's go So label for article heading Okay So the input This input should be for article heading Okay, so the type of input is text, and the class of form is form control. ID is article heading. Placeholder. is enter article okay v model new article dot article heading required required means form cannot be submitted if the input field is empty So I would like to copy this and paste under the underneath to save for time. Okay, so change from article heading to article body. Okay. It is also required. Okay, the text area. Okay. Place all the inter article body or inter article content. So it's, it's just an issue of creating content. Okay.
so our pop-up model will have two input field normal input field and a text area they are both input fields okay so let's put button at the bottom of pop-up model Okay. Okay. So button the type is submit. The cross is Cross is button primal. Okay. Save changes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so div Cross loading V if loading. So this is just the if statement in Vue.js. I like it. I like Vue.js because it's very simple. How to perform the for loop? How to set if statement or a condition? So if loading is equal to true, then it should display that is uh, this is loading, right? So this is our pop-up model. Okay, guys. I'm looking if there is anything wrong before we test it on the browser. Okay. So this is button. Data target is equal to the ID of pop up model, which is ID at core model. That is ID of pop up model. Okay.
so this is our function so let's refresh the browser and try to click add title add the article okay let me click mm, it's okay but it is not looking so attractive okay was I want to animate the pop-up model I want it to look so pretty so attractive so gorgeous okay <laughs> uh, I'm looking counting the number of div to see if there is a div exceeding or div lacking okay okay So let me click add the article. It's looking the same. But I think that is for interface. We should also test the functionality. To check it out if user can submit it in an article. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to see here. Okay, 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 okay. Count the number of div. So let me refresh. Right now, let's just test the functionality. Let's try out to see if we can add no at call. Okay. Okay. Get article. Let's create another view. JS method. Uh, another function. To get article by ID. Okay. All right. Oh, yes. So this dot loading is equal to true. So this dot get we are using get method as we are going to fetch information from our API. Okay. Okay, get an article with a specific ID. Okay. So this, then this dot current article. The get article function is for fetching the current article. Okay. 
So if the article was previously edited, so it helps us to retrieve. Okay. So this dot loading. Is dot loading is equal to uh, false so dot catch error this is for catching error in view js okay Let's go. We are about to finish this. Almost 24 minutes to close the calls or to close the session. Okay. Okay. So let's lighty delete function. So delete at call function. It will be taking the at call ID. This loading is equal to true because it will start by loading at the beginning. Then use delete function to remove an art call with a specific ID in model art call, right? Mm. Okay, and I will use back tick, okay? Not single quote, it is back tick. So this dot HTTP dot delete k dot then response k k This dot get at calls. Okay. Catch error. Okay. Catch error. And if there is error, show up on the browser. Okay. Yes. We have successful created a Vue.js delete function. So we need it to, okay. We need it to link it on delete button by V on click. Okay. Then you use delete function and it will take the ID of an article. Okay. So V hyphen on. Okay. On creaky. So delete article. 
but it will take article ID as parameter. Okay. So we can see we can delete. Let me click the delete. Oh, there is some error. Let's check. Not found. What is the cause of this error? Let me try out to uh, register a new article to see if it will run properly. Okay. Save change. Delete. I still see some errors. What's popping? Okay. I think it, there might be something wrong. I can't even understand what it is. So I need to get back in my code. KV on click okay okay what's wrong what's wrong with delete Delete article. Uh, get articles. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. I put wrong API path. That's why it was returning 404 error, which is not found. So now if I click delete, you can see I can remove article from the database. Okay. So I can add in so far we have implemented the three functionality which is ready okay add create which is create and the delete we have actually remained with only one only one only one functionality which is edit right We have remained with edit functionality. Okay. Yes. So let's create the update at core function which is the last function before we close the class before we close the session before we close the cause okay so this dot loading is equal to true comma this dot http dot put we are using put method when we update okay so dot put it is also needy to have the API URL and the ID of an article. Okay. Also needy the ID of an article. Okay. So this dot current article dot article underscore ID Okay
okay dot then response okay mm, this dot current article as I told you the current article uh, is used the to get the information of the current article okay catch error so return error if there is something wrong So this dot loading is equal to false. Okay. Okay. So, I think I'm not going to create the edit pop-up model, rather than I'll copy the ad, new article, pop-up model, then I'll edit some few things to be changed, okay? So, what I'm doing here is copying the ad model paste it under the needs of adding model okay then making some changes by editing so I put comment end of edit model okay So we can just also edit the comment. You can say this is edit at commodo. Okay, so it should be edit article. The heading for pop up model should also be edited. Okay. So here it should be update at call which is the name of Vue.js function right okay we have off we have to wind up this okay just about eight minutes to go so be careful if you feel tardy you can grab the cup of coffee and fuel up your mind or you can drink a lot of water to mush to most to moisturize your your brain
So V model is equal to current article dot article model. So that will fetch the article body on form. Okay. Uh, so anything else to change? Anything else to change? Okay. So here it should be edit at ID Okay. So let's change it. the Color of button is so info danger. Oh, to edit. Edit button is duplicating. Right. Okay. So let me try out edit Vue.js best front end web framework. Okay. Save for oh, wow. You can see the the changes are reflected. Okay. So okay, which allow user to add the article, edit and the delete without refreshing the page. Okay. But if you find out this video is handful for you, do not forget to, rem to, to reward me by hitting the like button. But you can also express what you are thinking in the back of your mind, like, you know, Vue.js is good, uh, especially when it is mingled up with Django. You can say anything. Just say, I like some someone who speak his or her mind. So you can express anything based on the content I have I've provided. But also what I would like to remind you is that uh, not forget to visit, not forget to to check out the below the the, the, the description boxy. Uh, you'll find out uh, GitHub link. So make sure you click on that link. You'll be directed to the GitHub account. Then download the source code. 
okay but also do not forget to subscribe for the future video because this is actually the beginning of the journey in Django and Vue.js me and my team we are actually preparing working along the clock doing our magic to prepare masterpiece projects masterpiece sessions and so on so hit the subscription button so as you stay updated with our masterpiece content we create so this is css loading button so i'll paste it inside okay then see when i refresh okay so let me delete let me add you will see something has changed right so here say lalavel lalavel is php web framework php web so you can see that loading button is because i have added some css source code for you might okay might find it awesome or attractive animating your page but some of would not like to choose it okay that's why i've pasted it at the end so it will remain an issue of personal decision okay so guys let me do something here article mm, also here on need space okay then after refresh save the page so once i click cross edit okay save cross add so that's awesome thank you a lot guys okay thank you a lot hope you have enjoyed it but call to action for you you can now start trying to use the django vue.js redux the django rest api framework